Hey y'all, um, I'm Mimi, aka the Pisces and Seer, and this is one of your daily collective readings. Okay, like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment. It is greatly loved and appreciated. God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters, all beings of light only. You're welcome into this reading. Please give the Pisces and Seer collective the best and most accurate information for them at this time. Okay, so I was giggling. <laughs> I was giggling at the calendar, okay, and the, the phone just recorded on its own, and really I'm just sitting here ready to record, so. It says, look, they're all in the room, right? They all in the room telling scary stories, okay, like at the sleepover. And it says, and no matter how many times they got it delivered, they were never home to receive the package, okay? <laughs> so... I don't know. I just thought it was funny. And I started giggling. And I have no idea what Spirit wants to talk about. We're going to find out right now with this overall energy. So I'm going to get... I don't know. Spirit was like, just, just start winking it. Like, stop using notes so much. <laughs> okay. So, higher love and wisdom. Because we only get in one of those. Getting one of those and one of these cards that are not really cards, but they say stuff. Okay, so this this one that I put back it says um, I can do anything, but not everything. This one says I find value in being myself. Okay, make a list. Make a list of things that you're proud of. Maybe things that you've done that you're proud of or, you know, I mean, period. Or just, I don't know, make a list of your accomplishments and, like, just bask in it. Let me get, I need two books from over here. Shisham. Okay. So this says Hathor set and Wajet. Okay. So it says the magic of Hathor's unconditional love. Be quiet. Prepares us to meet our shadow selves. Set as the trickster. Um, shows us our shadows and clears the pathway for each of us to receive Wajet's great awakening. And the infusion of life force energy. When you draw this card, engage with these Nidaru directly. And see how they are part of your life now. Allow yourself to experience the love of Hathor and the allies you can take with you as you face the shadow in yourself and your situation. With the ensuing magical resolution, you can stand with humility before Wajet's towering power. I mean, I guess you're they're saying that you're being prepared for, you know... Like, a state of total unconditional love. Like, really higher wisdom and knowledge about who you are, as not only as a person, but as a soul, okay? So, spirit about to get, like, real deep with you. <laughs> I hope you is ready for that. Let me see. It says, Shatuk Shatukite, I think. Um... The key words are intuition, communication, channeling, mediumship, and work with oracles, okay? <laughs> the element is water and wind. I just really like how they do that. I was trying to play music, but it wasn't working, And I, but YouTube works. So I was like, okay, I guess Spirit don't want me playing music today. Okay, so... <sighs> Shatuktite... I think is what it's Shatukite. Okay, let me show you. This one looks like. Uh, 
Um, it says it's a stone of connection to the inner realms, one that assists in understanding and communicating information from spirit. Okay, so maybe you're going to start getting more communication from spirit because I feel like you already do. I feel like you get a lot of... It says, <laughs> Shatukite can be used to open one's psychic channel, enabling one to hear messages from inner guides and teachers as well as spirits of the deceased. If one wishes to work as a medium... Shatukite is an ideal ally for initiating and expanding one's capacity for spirit communication. It vibrates to the tone of truth, so it can also aid in making sure one's interpretations of messages from the other side are as accurate as possible, okay? So maybe you're like a really accurate uh, medium or, you know, like you are the oracle <laughs> is what I'm really getting. <laughs> Let me see. I want to get you some cards now. I'm like, I got enough, okay? <laughs> but let me see. I feel like there's some more. Um, it says that Shatukite stimulates the throat chakra, enhancing one's skills and communication. So you might find yourself um, really communicating, like, well right now, you know? Um, and not only that, just having people comprehend it. You know, it's like before when our throat chakras you know, are not awakened yet. We always feel like people don't understand what we're saying or, you know, people are always acting like, I don't know, maybe they're not acting. Maybe they just really don't hear you. But, you know, it seems like no one really hears you when there's something wrong with your throat chakra. So you might be just now feeling like, oh, okay, people understand what the fuck I'm saying and they picking up what I'm putting down type shit. Okay. <laughs> so let me see. It says... It says, as the stone of truth, it's highly recommended for lawyers and politicians. <laughs> it says, though some awkward moments may ensue, Shatukite's vibration of truth will ultimately serve both the individual and those whom he or she represents. Um, it must be emphasized that Shatukite's highest use is the communication of wisdom and information from the higher realm. So, like, that's what you're supposed to do, okay? You're supposed to, um, use communication of wisdom and information from higher realms, okay? It says the stone... Um, it says as a stone of the third eye and the psychic centers, it facilitates... The practice of automatic writing as well as vocal channeling, okay? So, um, you might want to do some automatic writing, okay? Um, well, I mean, I guess I vocally channel all the time, but you might be... I'm, I'm trying to think of vocal, vocal channeling, okay? Um, you might be hearing songs, okay? Singing all kinds of different songs. Like, I know a bunch of different songs. I love music, but... That's one of the ways that spirit uses me in a big way, okay? Um, or you might just be like saying random quotes from movies, you know? Those are channeled messages, okay? <laughs> Pay attention to that. Um, I have like random outbursts. This is what spirit is bringing to my attention, okay? <laughs> so you must do this, okay? You might have like random outbursts, you know? And you, at first you think it's just um, a silly thing, you know? I always thought I was just silly, but I'm just really psychic, <laughs> Okay, it says it helps one find the right words to express the, un, I mean, the usually image-laden communications from spirit. Okay, so you might get a lot of pictures in your mind's eye too, a lot of like, those are visions, okay, they're psychic impressions, <laughs> okay, some it, and some of them are like really fast, you know, some of them are really fast, but... It's crazy. Everyone's gift is different, though, okay? Everyone's gift is different. Okay, so we're talking about, we're talking about gifts, huh? My bad. But it sounds like, you know, they're just talking about an upgrade, really, in, in said gifts. Because you have, I feel like you have found the value in yourself. Like, you know, you know what it means to love yourself now like maybe someone's just coming into you know figuring out what their life purpose is oh. Oh, okay. 
that, that's kind of a lot. But time to heal did came out first, okay? You took the time to heal. Or you're still healing now, okay? It says self-healing is an extremely important daily routine um, in your development as a medium. When practicing mediumship, you need to be in your best heart-centered space to create a clear, authentic communication with spirit. Excuse me. Oh, it says... To turn your mind to focus within and ask yourself, what is my body, heart, and soul seeking right now? It is intuitively feeling the need for healing on a mental, emotional, physical, or spiritual level. Okay, is it? That's another question you could ask. Um, it says, whether you choose to do body work, energy healing, a walk in nature, yoga, or just a quiet meditation, these can all be ways... Of self-healing to balance the body mind and soul if you pick this card at random let this be a clear sign that it's time to honor you okay <sighs> what else, <bro? laughs> creative expression okay um creativity is not the you is not only a way of expressing your personality and spirit to the outside world, it is also a great way of disconnecting your analytical mind so you can reconnect with the creative, expressive, and intuitive side of your brain. It says, as children, we started out, we started our lives by freely using the more creative right side of our brain. And as we get older, as a result of schooling and societal conditioning, there was a tendency to pull away from our right side and rely more on the intellectual left side of our brain. Intuition floats on the edge of creativity. So try doing something creative, such as taking a class where you can practice sketching, drawing, writing, painting, coloring, uh, making pottery, or whatever works for you. Whatever is your art, you know, I, that's a question I like to ask people when I meet them. Like, so what's your art? Because everybody has, you know, some form of art. Even if they think they don't, they do. Because maybe it's something like, maybe you might have something that you don't consider art, okay? Clear sentience, okay? Your feelings, your gut feelings, ooh, they're so strong. Like, I mean, when you get them, they're not they're not to be played with, okay? I hope you'll be listening to them because I don't play about that gut feeling. Like, if my gut says it's time to go, it's time to fucking go, and I'm going to go. I, I, I will leave y'all here, <laughs> okay? <laughs> it says, clear sentience is the most natural of all the psychic senses. It is the ability to sense the emotions or feelings of other people, animals, and your surroundings, as well as spirit people. Don't underestimate the power of clear sentience. It can assist you in all areas of your life and enhance your connection with spirit. Our bodies act as one big psychic antenna. When meeting someone for the first time, most of us have a gut response. Or when walking into a room, it's possible to feel vibrations. When a medium is working and using their ability of clairsentience, maybe they're able to feel a sense of the spirit's energy, whether it's male, female, young, or old, and the nature of the illness that might have taken the spirit to the other side. The medium should be able to describe the spirit's personality and their mannerisms, and in some cases take on characteristics of the spirit. This is the most common way most mediums work, and there are no limits to what the spirit can make the medium sense. Okay, so if you might be like feeling this, but not really understanding like that this is all because you are a medium okay look the medium's toolbox i already know what this one says okay it's talking about how um spirit uses every single thing all the signs symbols everything that inspires you everything you ever learn spirit will pull it has the ability to pull that up in your brain okay <laughs> they will pull like the oldest stuff like um that you you know haven't thought of in a while as something that can make that point okay because they have to use things that appeal to you that are important to you 
you know what I'm saying, to connect with you. Like, it, it's so dope. I love that they do that. Like, that's my favorite part about it. Because, <laughs> um, but yeah, you're meant to be of service. You're meant to use this higher wisdom, these mediumistic skills, okay, that you possess, okay, to, you know, this is the service that you're here to provide if you're looking at this, okay? Um, you know, it's like if it doesn't resonate, then I don't know. You can find another video. But it says when you are called to awaken the medium within, okay, you're being called to awaken this. So you might not even know about this quite yet. It says it is it's also a calling to devote your life to a work of service. It's truly an honor and a blessing to serve spirit. It's true. <laughs> okay. If you hold an open and pure heart, the blessings from spirit in return will be bountiful and endless. The path of a medium should only be seen as a blessing and never a burden. The journey of development is not always easy or rewarding, but in serving spirit from your heart, you will be blessed with grace and support along your path. As spirit will always be there for you. And I can definitely vouch for that. They are always there for me like seriously like i'm i'm over here like hashtag never alone <laughs> is that a thing oh you should do some psychic journaling okay writing i think i already i feel like i already said something about that though from the crystal book you should write okay just mindlessly write okay you you'll think that like I, I love to automatic write. That's okay. That's what it's called. Automatic writing. I love doing that, okay? Because I like to go back and read it. And you, all you do is you write, you sit there and you write every little thing that comes into your mind. And you'll be surprised how the stream is nonstop, you know? You could time yourself if you want, or you could just write until you, um, you know don't feel like writing anymore but i love it it's 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 hilarious when you read it back like but then you know you if that'll show you something you'll start seeing the little messages in that and seeing that you're constantly streaming spirit like this is this is the facts when you're truly connected okay and you're truly doing what you're supposed to do, okay? You're showing gratitude. You're saying thank you. And, you know, you're really listening. You're clear audience, too. When you're really, really listening, okay? You'll be surprised, okay? But you're meant to be, you're meant to master mediumship, okay? You'll be surprised how on your brain is all the time, okay? All right, let's see. What else do you want to do? <laughs> Pounce, decide to act, okay? They're saying don't be afraid to act on anything, you know? Um, any Anything that comes to your mind, you know, if it's not sitting right with you, you know, have the courage to look into that, you know? To, like, aim high, think high, dream big, okay? That's what Spirit's saying because, you know, um, mediums and psychics and things, they're, they're manifestors, okay? <laughs> they are manifestors. They're here to <laughs> make a new reality. You know, th your imagination is really big, okay? That's why it's important for you to be focused on the bigger things in life that you can do. Like, try not to focus, you know, on the downside of things too much, on the envy of it all. Like, yeah, there's people around and they're hating and stuff, but like, you know, sometimes we, we're, you know, we're going to have our time, you know, they get their little moments where we go in on them. But at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you can rest easy. You can relax knowing that they can't stop you from doing this, you know, just get as invested in yourself as you can, you know, um, developing, you know, whatever you want to make. Like you really have this crazy connection to the other side, you know, so you know, if I was you, I would take advantage of that. Look. <laughs> yeah, it says discernment. Take a closer look, okay? T take a closer look and see where, you know, developing these particular, this particular gift will help you out a lot so much, you know? They're talking about, you know, communicating with your ancestors, okay? And, you know, like, <laughs> true wisdom. Like, they're trying to drop the real 
real wisdom in you, okay? So that you can go out and be of service and just share that wisdom. Like, I love to do this, okay? Like, this really does light me up, okay? <laughs> it says it's all about me out, but this is what I'm saying. Spirit's wanting you to um, maybe relax for a spell, you know? Um, get retuned, you know? Sit, you know, listen to some to some um, sound bowls or something like that, you know, um, really take some time to pamper yourself, okay, and to, um, you know, maybe take some comfort or give some comfort to someone that's close to you, you know, that you care about, and don't be afraid to step outside of your boundaries with this, because, you know, shit gets weird, okay, but it's not nothing to fear, it's just not, it's just not something that, you know, you're quite used to i mean some people say they they're used to it you know and they they've experienced it their whole lives you know but some of us don't remember you know we had a bunch of magic being done we just don't remember much you know <laughs> and, and it's on purpose and you know you, you get to a certain age to a certain place in your ascension and you start remembering all of these things you know look it says truth <laughs> let it show you start remembering all of these things you know not only from past lives but from this lifetime you know and it's, it can be it can be a lot you know a lot of people quit this journey a lot of people quit this journey but i love it you know spirit saying you're more flexible than you think you know stretch the limits of your imagination of what you think you can and cannot do because you could surprise yourself okay and you're about to, you're about to, look, it says teacher, share your knowledge. You're, you're meant to be a teacher. I'm just, I'm just looking at, at what, the, what does these mean to me, <laughs> okay? Because this one says, this one say a uh, conundrum up in the air, okay? This one say seek non-attachment, okay? So maybe, um... You got some things in, exposed to you, okay? Maybe probably not in the best way, okay? With this instigator card, it says got to start something. And for a while, you could have been trapped in this little box, you know, um, that is your own mind, you know, just thinking about going over things and really learning your lessons, okay? Really seeking non-attachment from the people who did you in or, you know, in any way, like, really figuring out who was there for you and who's not. You might be feeling like everything's just, like, up in the air, no, but spirit has a way of quieting everything down right before they're about to bless you with this gift or, you know, give you any type of blessing because, you know, blessings come in all different forms, you know. Blessings ain't just, I know I'm always talking about this money, but I mean, as far as I'm concerned, even gifts are this money. Like, you are the money, okay? <laughs> and so anything that spirit gives you that pertains to you is a blessing, period. The food you eat, the, the ground you walk on, okay? Everything. The fact that you can walk, all of that shit is a blessing, okay? <laughs> so it's really important for you to be recognizing that and to be, like, excessively thankful about it. <laughs> Because that's how you keep it coming, period. Let's see. What else? What is my advice on this? Divine timing, okay. <laughs> this is all a matter of divine time, which I'm sure y'all know by now, okay. That's what we're, we're always saying. You know, God works on his time okay <laughs> you don't work on man-made time but you're surrounded in holy love that's all that's ever important as long as you are that you know you hold your composure you're focused on your spiritual growth and you're always working from a raised vibration as long as you're doing that you can't go wrong period because you got guardian angels all around you they're always going to make sure that you remember <laughs> They never would let you forget, okay? You have this healing energy, okay? And spirit has given you this big opportunity for change. And, you know, they might have had you clear, cancel, and release a lot of shit. Or you still needing to clear, cancel, and release some things, you know? But look at this ancestor card. <laughs> 
from another deck, okay? This is not the same deck. But I was looking at that one. Maybe I'll use that one. And, you you know, a lot of... Meditation is great. And you don't have to over-meditate. You can meditate 10 to 15 minutes a day, really. That's ideal, especially if you're a beginner. 10 to 15 minutes a day is all that you need, really, okay? But there's all different forms of meditation, you know? So, really... A lot of us are meditating a lot more than, you know, we think we are. <laughs> yeah, it says a light grows brighter by lighting another. So, it says right into this reality. Okay, they're serious about this writing. Anything else? For it? it says to be enlightened, lighten up. So, maybe... Um, spirit will always have like these moments where they just have me just go, like just go have fun, like just don't do nothing, like just like, why don't you just, <laughs> why don't you just do nothing for a week, you know, like let's let's do some mushrooms, let's go to the beach, <laughs> like just do whatever, and then when I come back, I have all of these like little stories and you know shit that I watched, shit that I saw, you know, because like I said, spirit uses you and your experiences. Like, it's you and your ex experiences that make you perfectly imperfect as you are. And <laughs> that's the reason why no one else could, could copy or imitate you. Because they'll never be able to experience, copy the experiences that you have naturally in life, okay? It says, I'm a galactic starseed blooming. Period. You're blooming. So if you're feeling like something's wrong, then just don't feel like that, okay? Look, just trust and act accordingly. Just have the trust, okay? And know that every time you're freaking yourself out or you're thinking that you're doing something wrong or you're going wrong somewhere, okay? You are the divine why point. You make the choices and the decisions. It's like whatever you think is manifests into your reality. So it's be careful about how you're thinking and what you're thinking it is, okay? It says your greatest work is your greatest legacy. So that's why it's important to figure out what kind of legacy do I want to build? What am I making? But you need to just follow your heart, okay? That's what Spirit's saying. Follow your heart, okay? The entire universe is fucking encoded. It's written right up in you, okay? <laughs> You're an alchemical artist. Like, you fucking make the magic happen all the time, every day. Spirit is waiting for you to... Well, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say, I was going to say they're waiting for you to take charge in action, but after this transformation, you're, you're going to be able to take the charge in action that you need to take. Or you are at the place where, you know, you're just coming out of a trend, of a, this transformation, you know, and um, you could have gotten your mediumistic gifts upgraded and you're trying to integrate that into your normal life you know because I kind of struggle with that I'm always like talking to myself and giggling and shit but you know you can only see the way by making the way like you know it's it's the best when you just cut off the people who are willing to judge you you know like and just stop judging yourself <laughs> and then that's what makes it so much easier like and I just I just love my shit like look, wanted universe creators it's like if you wasn't you, then somebody would come along <laughs> and just try to be like, you know, the old you. Like, I don't know. I don't know who the fuck else I'm going to be <laughs> if I'm not being me. Like, but that's why it says I find value in being myself. This is why I'm saying this because it says that right here. I find value in being myself. Spirits having me talk about how much I like being me because I guess that's how much they want you to like being you, like, you know, not to say that some of you don't, but somebody is not feeling themselves as much as they should be, like, you know, we're all gifted, we're all talented, we're all amazing, and um, only few of us are going to answer this call and become a creator with God, okay, so, you know, it's a privilege, like, to even get the offer, <laughs> to even hear that call, to even be in a place where you can hear that call, but yeah. It didn't matter where I was at. That call stopped everything. <laughs> that call stopped everything. Cut everybody 
everything out you know maybe not all at once but it gradually just happened it, and it, it wasn't a long gradual process but it was definitely a gradual process okay <laughs> so it's like yeah people don't go away right away all the time or you know it might not you know shit don't just all happen like 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 the big bang type shit but you know the big yeah, just be wise, okay? Just work, operate from a place of wisdom, okay? Listen to your intuition. Listen to the nudges and things that your ancestors are telling you, okay? Because they want you to get better at following their guidance. Get you a pendulum, okay? That will really help you. That will really help you. Because me, I'd be confused. I'd be like, um, I'd be like, where my shit at? <laughs> I'd be like, spirit. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I really say God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters, all beings of light only. That's really important to me because, um, you know, there's always, there's all these forces out here that can, you know, that's like, that's all they need, you know, is to switch one yes to a no or one no. I don't know. I don't know. Like, call me paranoid if you want, but, um, I say better safe than sorry. So always pray before you do your divinations. Okay. Um, but yeah, you're a star seed. You can do what I do. <laughs> You can do what I do, okay? You might do what I do. You might actually do this, or you might just do it for yourself. Um, you might just be into all kinds of different types of divination, but it's, and it's because you're guided to be. So, you're saying just keep following that. Follow that. Follow that curiosity, you know, into what you want to do. Is there something else? Like, there's more. <laughs> I do. I feel like there's more. Let's see. What else? Is there? It says, stand in your power. Be passionate about your vision and bring about positive changes, okay? So you might have a vision that you want to do something big, something positive, you know, to help. You might like to help kids, you know, or you know, whole family type stuff, you know, get people in off the streets. You might like to go in your free time and feed the homeless. Okay. It says, love yourself and dare to be vulnerable. Open your heart. Yeah. Don't be afraid to let your, let your beautiful, you know, uniqueness shine. Like, just let it fly. Like, anybody who's, I, I just feel like what kind of horrible people are judging you for, Helping, you know, for helping to feed people or helping to, you know, give people advice or like, why is it a problem to help? Like, what the fuck is that about? It says violet flame. Invoke the cosmic diamond violet flame and transmute all that is not love. Yeah, you might want to try a violet flame meditation too, you know, because if you're this medium, you're if you're this much of a medium, you know what I mean? <laughs> and you're always channeling, then you're definitely um, empathic and absorbing a lot of negative energies from the people that you help. Okay, and you need to pay attention to the signs that you've been seeing. This says look for the signs. It says pay attention, expect an answer. So there's something you've been praying about. Expect an answer from the from the I am presence. It's just the I am presence. It says expand your stellar gateway. I am that I am. So just um, become more aware that you're you are connected. Like I don't know. I don't know. It's like you're just missing. They keep making me look at this card that says I find value in being myself. Like. It says, be open to abundance and believe you deserve, accept plenty and prosperity. It's like spirit can't give you anything if you're not in the energy of receiving. You have to be in the energy of receiving in order to receive because that makes you a vibrational match, right? For receiving, <laughs> you know, and then it's, oh gosh, I don't know. It says, bathe in pure love and stay open to unicorn magic. Also, believe in the magic. Like, it's real. It really is. Like, you have to believe it, though, before it can work. This is like like on every magic movie you've ever seen, right? They're like, you you got to believe it. Like, feel it in your soul, you know? And they're trying to learn how to um, do any type of magic, you know? They're always like, ah. Like, uh, I'm trying as hard as I can, but like, no, it comes from here, you know, like, like I was singing one day and I was, I usually, you know, it's always like, you know, from the diaphragm, you know, sing from the belly, but 
I was really more concentrating on singing from the heart and it sounded so I was like okay <laughs> like I see you you know it's like um it says new opportunities declutter your life glimpse a magical doorway okay yeah that's where the magic comes from it comes from the heart portal it says create your vision do what makes your heart sing you are being nudged forward okay so it's like come on baby it's time to do whatever makes your heart sing what is it <laughs> anything that you want you're in the you, it's the pool of Christ's light is what it says. It says, open your heart and spread unconditional love. Like, you can't go wrong. Get rid of all your fears and get rid of all your doubts, okay? And manifest your dreams. Um, it says, focus on your vision. Seek satisfaction and contentment, okay? So you will have satisfaction and contentment. All you have to do is just go with the flow, okay? It says go with the flow. It says enter the magic, okay? It says the law of grace. Here you. You could be a Lyris, a Lyrian star seed, okay? This is the stargate of Lyra. It says creative solutions. Think outside of the box and view things from a higher perspective. It says live in the now, seize the moment, relax and trust and accept what is happening. Um, also, sometimes when you when you're being upgraded, you know, you kind of like panic, you know, like, oh, my gosh, like this feels crazy. Like because it can it can be crazy. But it's like, don't worry about it. It's only crazy because you're you're thinking too small. OK, think outside of the box. Think big, big, big as you can. It says creative solutions. Oh, it says think out of, outside of the box. A few things from a higher perspective. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, let me see. Anything else? For it? Uh, I think we might be done with this one. The freedom of truth. Okay. Communicate honestly and be who you truly are. It says honor your uniqueness and do what makes you feel good. So don't let nobody else influence how you feel. Um, your birthday can be the 12th, the 13th, the 14th, the 3rd, the 1st, or the 5th of any month, okay? Um, or February 1st, okay? Um, <laughs> April 1st, uh, March 1st, February 3rd, May 3rd, or May 1st, or March 30th? No, yeah, is there a 31st of March? I think so. <laughs> I think there is. <laughs> okay. And with that, I am done. Okay. I hope you have a fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day. And I will see you later. I got to do two more. Bye.